Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to another video. This is a little weird, but I think it's a good reaction video to my house in the Harry Potter fan club. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I'm not showing anything crazy. I want to show you guys the website URL just in case you guys want to do it. Um, but this connects to your Hogwarts Legacy account when the game comes out. You can connect this and your house will be chosen in the game to what you chose here. And I believe they ask you a bunch of questions. I'm not sure, but whatever is going to happen. Okay. So it's exactly like uh, Wizards 101 if you guys ever played that. So river or forest. I would rather be near a river. Once every century, the flutterby bush produces flowers that adapt their scent to attract the unwary. If it lured you, it would smell of the sea, home... A crackling log fire or a fresh parchment. You know, I home would seem like the most straight up option, but like if I was in if I was in nature and I just smelled my house, it would it would smell weird. I would say if I smelt the ocean, I would be more intrigued to go check it out. If you were attending Hogwarts, what pet would you choose to take with you? A toad, owl, or cat? Cat, of course. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with Oh, I could choose which cat? Oh. They look cute. Oh. Oh. I'm, I'm stuck between the white and the black cat. I'll do black. I like black. Which would you rather be? Liked, trusted, feared, envied, imitated, or praised? Ooh, man. I already know if I chose fear, it's probably automatically going to put me in Slytherin. I think I like to be liked. Which of the following would you most hate people to call you? Ignorant, selfish, ordinary, Cowardly. I think selfish. If you could have any power, which would you choose? The power to read minds, the power to change the past, the power of invisibility, the power to speak to animals, the power of superhuman strength, or the power to change your appearance at will. That is a good one. <laughs> that is a really good one. I don't know, super strength would be cool, but like you wouldn't be able to control it for a long time and you might kill somebody. Speaking of animals, animals would be cool and it would come in handy with my cat. Invisibility, I don't know if it requires the cloak. Changing in the past is a little too dangerous. Um, I'll do the um, changing your appearance at will. One of your housemates has cheated in a Hogwarts exam by using a self-spelling quill. Now he has to come top of the class in charms, beating you into second place. Professor Flitwick is suspicious of what happened. He draws you to one side after his lesson and asks you whether or not your classmate used a forbidden quill. What do you do? Tell Professor Flitwick the truth. If your classmate is prepared to win by cheating, he deserves to be found out. Also, as you are both in the same house, any points he loses will be regained by you for coming first in his place. You would not wait to be asked to tell Professor Whitlick the truth. If you knew that somebody was using a forbidden quill, you would tell the teacher before the exam started. No, that's like, that's a snitch, dude. Lie and say you don't know, but hope that somebody else tells Professor Whit like the truth. That he ought to ask your classmate and resolve the truth, your classmate, that if he doesn't tell the truth, you will. No, we'll do the first one. I would tell him the truth. Oh, black, easy. The sorting hat is ready to make its decision. I hope there's like a cool animation. Oh, wow. I knew it. It put me in Slytherin. I like it. 
I like it. Okay, so let's go to Patronus. Better with headphones. Oh, let's do that then. Actually, who cares? I'll probably redo it later on and see if I can actually hear better. The Patronus is a kind of positive force, a projection to the very things that the Dementor feeds upon. Hope, happiness, the desire to survive. Okay. Discover your Patronus. Okay. You can only discover your Patronus once. These questions are timed. Go with your instincts. Okay, let's see. Relax. Think of your happiest memory. Well, when I got married. Easy. She wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> okay. Thorn, leaf, blade. Blade. This is cool, dude. Okay. This is cool, too. Smooth or rough? Smooth. The only time it's rough is when you're like, you haven't really slept good all week and you just lay on the floor. Around, under, or over? Over. I'm trying my best to go with my instincts, so this isn't necessarily what I would choose in any situation. Just mostly what out of these things. I saw a claw, or it might have been a fang. Keep going. Lost, found. I'd like to be found. It's forming! It's forming! Listen, watch, or touch. Watch. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, we're like right here. Is there gonna be a Dementor here? Click, grab, and release for your Patronus. Oh, whoa, that is cool. Black Mare. Oh, that is cool. Okay, I don't know why my recording had a problem. So with the wand, the first question was, how would you describe your height? It was average height, tall, and short. I chose average height because I'm like 5'11". And then my recording software was like, nah, we're not doing this today. Um, My eyes, they're hazel. They look brown in the camera, but if you see me in person, they're hazel. Was the day on which you were born, it was an even number. Pride yourself. Do you most pride yourself on your? Oh man! Imagination. Traveling alone down a deserted road, you reach a crossroads. Do you continue left towards the sea, right towards the castle, or ahead towards the forest? Okay. Now let's get this straight and out of here, so you guys know this. With the ocean. I, that's my fear. I, my fear is deep waters that you cannot see. I think it's thalassophobia or something like that. It's the fear of the ocean. I, I don't like the ocean. I like the beach. I will always go by the beach. If I were surviving, I'd be anywhere near water. Um, castle. It could be somebody's living there. Monsters. Demons. Forest. It's just creepy. There, so I'm I'm gonna go with the ocean. Do you most fear? None of these. Isolation, heights, darkness, fire. I'll do height. In a chest of magical artifacts, which one would you choose? Silver dagger, golden key, dusty bottle, ornament mirror, glittering jewel, black glove. Or a bound scroll. Out of all of this, the most interesting is this. But I would have a hard time not choosing the golden key or silver dagger. I'm gonna go with that one. What does my wand look like? Oh. Dogwood wood with a unicorn core. Ten and three quarters. Or ten, ten and three fourths, I I don't know how to write. I don't know how to read that. And surprisingly, 
swishy flexibility. That's cool. Dogwood is one of my own personal favorites, and I have found that matching a dogwood wand with its ideal owner is always entertaining. Dogwood wands are quirky and mischievous. They have playful natures and insist upon partners who can provide them with a scope of, for excitement and fun. That does sound like me. It would be quite wrong, however, to deduce from this that dogwood wands are not capable of serious magic. When called upon to do so, they have been known to perform outstanding spells under difficult uh, conditions. When paired with a suitably clever and ingenious witch or wizard, can produce dazzling enchantments and interesting foible of many dogwood wands is that they refuse to perform non-verbal spells and they often rather noisy okay i guess that's uh which slytherin are you most like i mean if you guys want i can do videos about that just let me know in the comments if you want me to do this stuff um but yeah i love you all thank you for watching this my house is slytherin patronus is black mare and wand is dogwood so i love you all and i'll see you all in the wizarding world